Hello, you sweet, feverish toe beans. It's your boy, them curvy toes, and we are back today uh, playing Rogue Genesia. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. This is something I picked up on Steam relatively recently. Um, it's another uh, surprise Vampire Survivor style roguelite, um, but it has kind of a, a different format in the standard mode, very reminiscent of something like slay the spire i've been having uh having a lot of fun with this game done a few runs thus far and uh the the graphics are beautiful the particle effects um it reminds me a lot of uh of octopath traveler uh, if you've ever played that on the switch the like really pretty 2.5d kind of uh kind of look so without further ado let's get into the gameplay but uh before i forget please remember to like the video Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment below what you thought of today's run. So they have different uh, ranked worlds here. Uh, when I bought it, it was just F and E rank, I believe. Um, but I think I have to beat an F rank world in order to unlock E, E to unlock D, and, and so on and so forth. New achievement? Rookie. Nice. So you can see... Uh, there's like branching nodes, um, which I think is very, uh, very cool concept to apply to this particular subgenre. So for this first, uh, I guess, battle here, we can go either here or here, and it allows you to kind of plan ahead and see uh, where you want to go. Uh, these chests usually have something really good, so we're going to go over here. And for our first ability... Tell you what, we're going to take Magic Wand, locking onto the closest monster is never anything bad. And like the, the pixel art here is very, very pretty. Um, like I said, it has very reminiscent of if you've ever played Octopath Travelers, which... Let's see here. Nah, I don't like less experience. Well, we'll go with move speed. Uh, yeah, but Octopath Traveler was like a very uh, mediocre game in terms of like JRPGs. Not certainly not my favorite. Uh, we are going to take some flat damage. Um, but the graphics, oh man, that's what kept me uh, kept me playing for a lot longer than I normally play most JRPGs. For whatever reason, with JRPGs in particular, I just I get really bored. I don't know why. Like uh, Fire Ring, holy shit! It's orange, which means it slaps like my stepdad after a couple of beers. I mean, look at the look at the graphics here. That is absolutely gorgeous, and. This is one of those abilities very much like uh, like Garlic and Vampire Survivors, so loving it. Uh, we'll take Critical Chance. But you can see in the uh, top left here um, that there's like a goal, um, and each of the uh, each of the little separate nodes has a different goal, at least for the battles. Um, that uh, get kind of progressively harder. Shoots the closest enemy. Yeah, we'll take that. More attacks isn't a bad thing. Um, and I think the the node system, like I said, very reminiscent of Slay the Spire. Um, monster, uh, not Monster Train, what's one of those other uh, deck building roguelikes. I think that really kind of helps to give this game an identity of its own. Uh, it's a concept that we haven't really seen in this particular style of game before and I think it lends itself really well end of stage so there we go that is the first node done and we get 300 gold coins and I get to select a card and we're gonna take a bit no you know what we're actually gonna level up the bow and we're gonna move on to the next stage so now you can see we have a choice of this the question mark or uh, a different battle, we're going to take the question mark. And it's just free uh, free rewards. Let's see. Banish all critical related cards. Well, you know, if one of our best abilities isn't able to crit and we haven't invested too much into 
critical attacks, I think that this is a really good investment. And negative defense for a bunch of XP. We'll take that too. I think that that's something that with that extra XP we can fix in relatively short fashion. Or we just get our teeth stomped in relatively quickly. Either way. All right. So. We're going to take some more base health and start making up some of the lost base defense. Yeah, I... I the art style of this game really, uh, really blew me away. And obviously there's been an, a lot of... Uh, we're going to take another upgrade on both. Obviously there's a lot of these... Uh, a lot of these bullet heaven likes. Uh, another aura. Okay. Um, and it's you know a lot of them. I I mean I still enjoy the. Uh, you know what? If nothing can get close enough to hit us, I still very much enjoy the core gameplay loop of, of most of these, and they have that in, in common, but. I'm always appreciative of something that finds a way to set itself apart, um, like Soulstone Survivors with its its crafting and kind of build diversity. This with its its art style and the nodes, and you know it's always nice to see something unique. And we're gonna take another upgrade on Bow and head to the next stage and the chest, which will be very much like that question mark that we got previously. Uh, so a bunch of gold, shit ton of experience. Additional projectile. That's Saint's Shinbone. Fully heal you on level up. That is actually very, very cool. <sighs> Tell you what, I see another chest up there. What is this? G? I don't think I've hit those before. So we're going to hit this, 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 and this, then hit the elite in the chest. That's that's the plan, you sweet beans. Um, well, max health multiplier, sure. And I got an achievement for vitality. Mm, I'm tempted. With that multi-headed, we are actually going to take bow. Just to be safe. Or build into what we already have going. And... You know what? We're going to take that. That'll All the extra health will help to make up for our lack of defense. And we do fully heal on level up, I believe, is what that... Uh, that item was indicative of. Yep, there we go. Back at full health. I very much enjoy the uh, sort of minimalistic UI that we have going on in this game. Um, all right, so this guy here with the big health bar is a boss, and we just absolutely shredded him. Mm, more damage. More projectile size, more knockback. All good. And another boss, which just got absolutely destroyed. And you can see those auras are getting much larger and really, really starting to put in a lot of damage. I mean, just boom. That's a boss. Done. And that should be it for the stage for us as well. So we are going to grab all the XP we can. A bunch of extra gold. And we're going to take extra area, which will pair nicely with our auras. Auras. Auras? Oh, yeah. I don't know why I said it. Oh, weird. Sorry about that. Just losing my mind. A uh, bunch of gold, bunch of experience. We are going to take... I kind of forgot we had Magic Wand, to be honest. Glass Sword doubles your damage, 60% max. Yep, I want it. <laughs> Will I survive? Who knows? Oh, I bet the G's are shops. Now that I uh, now that I think about it. 
And we're going to take another upgrade for the magic wand and hit max level with our death aura. Aura. Aura? Ugh. Now I'm like second guessing myself. And uh, we're going to take another upgrade for fire ring as well. And with that uh, glass sword, that is just going to melt everything that isn't a boss. And quite frankly, it will melt bosses as well. All right, we're going to take dash as well. And spacebar is what the dash is, which is kind of industry standard for this. Uh, we're going to take another charge of size up. And I, uh, I apologize, my voice is probably still a little bit scratchy. I know I was uh, saying in the last video I was feeling a <clears throat> little bit not well. I don't think I'm sick or anything. I think it's just been a really, really, <laughs> really long couple of days here. Work has been just absolutely insane. This is the time of year where, uh, as I mentioned, I'm an exterminator and all the mousers are trying to get inside. So everyone and their mother wants the exterminator to come out and try and figure out what's going on, which I totally get. I mean, I'm an exterminator for a living and I would shit my pants if I had a mouse in my house. Slows enemies down on hit by 15%. That is going to be huge. Because there's, as you can see, some of these bats in particular are a little faster. Um, and some of the uh, bosses that move a little faster. There's one in particular later that I've run into that's like a, uh, a caster. Bunch more damage for even less defense than what we already have. Absolutely. I don't remember what I was talking about. It's been a long week. Oh yeah, exterminating. Um, yeah, I, if I if I had a mouse in my house, I would I would lose my absolute shit. Which is, you know, I can't imagine what a normal people that does what normal people that don't deal with it day in and day out feel like. So I get why people freak out and, and call our office 20 times in a row to get me out there. All right, more gold and another upgrade to fire ring. Next stage, let's go. And we have four points. Seven, three thousand gold to play around with. <laughs> I think our uh, I think our damage is beyond saving at this point. Increase experience gain by fifty percent, and we have just enough to do that. Awesome! So we are going to be leveling up like crazy. And this guy right here with the horns is an elite battle. Uh, so we got to slay the champion and then survive for however long. And you can see his health just dipping down and down and down. Take another upgrade for Bow. Uh, this is without a doubt the most busted run I've had in this game yet. I'm sure that there's all kinds of weird ways I can... I can... Oh, two levels. I can make this game really just... Take a shit on my computer, quite honestly, but... Uh, for right now, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with what we're uh, what we're doing here. We haven't been touched in a while. Uh, I probably shouldn't say that again. I have a habit of jinxing myself, but uh, we don't even. <sighs> I I keep forgetting that we have a dash. So there we go, dash. When you are not moving, plus fifty percent damage mitigation. Coming in. Holy shit, with our auras. I keep saying it's so weird. I'm I'm losing it. So we're just gonna not move and of course then the whole picking up experience thing gets kinda not ideal. But oh <laughs> look at that mini boss just shredded. And we should be able to pick up Well, move, move speed is counterproductive to what uh, what we're investing in. Uh, you know what? Size up. Not a bad idea. Uh, we should be able to pick up a bunch of these uh, crystals after we uh, end the the round here or wave. Time to hydrate. All right, where I, I can't leave them all just sitting there. The the dopamine is is too much from picking these things up. And 
and can I reroll? Hmm. <laughs> We're actually gonna banish something, and it's gonna be impenetrable. Oh, and we are gonna take level two <laughs> on a movable object. And that, I mean, taking base damage up is good, I guess. All right, 876 more gold. And we're going to take a little bit of a hit in attack size to get up to 746% damage. All right, next stage. Now, we don't really have that much gold, so we're going to hit this chest here. Bunch of experience, card selection. 858% damage, yes please. Gilgamesh's ring. Tainted and normal rarity soul cards are 75% less likely to appear. The hell's a tainted card? I don't know if I've seen that. Alright, well. I guess, uh... That'll work. What is that up there? All right, we're gonna we're gonna go hit this battle real quick, and uh... all right. Well, I guess we'll just take an extra couple dashes here, and then we're just gonna sit here and and let <laughs> let this wave kill itself. So now we've definitely hit the uh, the point of the game. I should still keep my hand on the keyboard just to be safe. Or we can just, just kind of talk about whatever. So, uh, I don't know if any of y'all are uh, are big fans of metal. But uh, I am. I am a huge, huge metal fan. I just heard that new Brand of Sacrifice song. Uh, if I remember, I'll, I'll put a clip in right here. But holy shit, y'all, that breakdown. I just about soiled the seat of my car. Um absolutely insane that man makes some monstrous noises i'm really hoping they come to uh, milwaukee area where i'm from uh or at least chicago i would love the opportunity to to go see them i unfortunately had to miss uh lorna shore and angel maker and ingested coming down to chicago uh recently here just um projectile lifetime all right yeah sure um, because I had uh, I had previous commitments, so that's a big bummer. Because uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of, of Lorna Shore in particular. I feel that uh, bands like them and, and Brand of Sacrifice are just completely revitalizing deathcore, which you know, let's be honest, hasn't been doing so hot the past uh, the past couple years. Um, more experience, less pickup range. Yeah, sure, why not? Um. So yeah, oh, also, you know, Brand of Sacrifice, he, uh, well, they incorporated some, like, kind of harsh singing into their n new track, and, like, I was really digging it. I'm not a huge fan of clean vocals in my, uh, in my metal always. A new attack? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, but I feel like it fit really, really well into the mix. Also, Make Them Suffer dropped a new joint a while back here, and uh, that's a band that I feel like they've, they've really kind of grown a lot since their inception, and uh, the new their new track was really, really uh, indicative of that, of, of kind of a higher production value and a willing to willingness to kind of experiment with their sound. Uh, they got a new uh, lady uh, keyboardist slash vocalist, and she uh, she got some pipes on her. Uh, both uh, for clean vocals and and screaming, and so I'm I'm really digging her addition to the band. And we're gonna take another rank in this. So yeah, if you haven't uh, checked out any of those, uh, don't make me sad and, and go check those out. All right, we're gonna take this, and I'm not sure. Nice katana. Holy shit, we are having a a hell of a run here beans now uh, we're gonna take a cooldown on dash just for the end of the round what I don't know what this is so we're gonna go we're gonna go hit it 
shuriken. Yeah. And holy shit! That is a lot of enemies. I'm still not sure what the multiple skulls was was indicating. Maybe just like a, a ton of monsters, but again, we are just absolutely shredding anything that has the audacity to get close to us at this point. Hmm. Look at all that beautiful, beautiful XP just, just hanging out on the ground around us. Ooh, one of the bats almost touched us there. This probably isn't like a super exciting run to watch at this point, but, but hitting this point in these type of games where you can just kind of sit here, turn your brain off, and, and let the enemies break themselves on you, that is that is the pinnacle of, of what these games are about for me. Oh shit, oh, I thought we were going to have to move there for a second. Um, holy shit, that's probably a lot of levels. Uh, shuriken. <laughs> Over a thousand percent damage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, less defense for more attack speed. Yep. I I may come to regret that later, but that's okay. I, I forgive me. Uh, you know what? An addition of base damage, sure. More shuriken. More attack area. Another upgrade on katana. Projectile speed and move speed. Yes. Oh, what hit us? We're all of a sudden at half health. I'm not really sure what uh, what happened there. Uh, we're going to take some damage mitigation. Bunch of gold. Holy shit, that's a lot of experience. And we're going to take a larger pickup range as well. Again, just to kind of make the end of rounds easier. More gold, more XP. We're going to take another attack. You know what? We're just going to take another increase monster amount by 20% and reduce health by 20%. Yes, please. That is a that is a great find with the build that we have going here. Got 8.7 I don't know if that's... I don't... See, I've, I've gotten to the boss node before. I've never actually beaten it. I'm feeling confident about it this time. But I'm not sure if it ends after that or if this would be something good to get. You know what? We'll, we'll take that and card selection. We're going to take 20% mitigation on damage. And we're going to go hit the boss. And hopefully, you sweet beans... You get to uh, you get to see me catch my first win here, and we are certainly looking promising thus far. They hit the outer walls. Oh, and that's the boss! <laughs> Holy shit, that was completely busted! Uh, wow. So y'all, that is Rogue uh, Genesia. I fairly certain that's not how you say it but uh yeah that is that is my first uh first successful win um holy shit our bow was putting in work too four thousand kills <laughs> two kills with the, with the katana two enemies got close enough to take damage from that that's uh that's pretty funny so uh this is probably going to be a shorter one I, I feel like i wasn't playing that long but uh really really had a had a fun time with this it's always fun to win it's always fun to to break these games wide open and just destroy mob after mob after mob and and just essentially put the game on easy mode with some some lucky uh, lucky rolls on the build so thank you for taking the time out of your days to watch this video i hope you enjoyed the uh, the content i uh, i'm creating for y'all please remember to like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let me know what what you thought of today's episode in the comments i love y'all so much thank you so much for all the support y'all have been showing the channel as of late it really does mean the world to me and it, it 
it uh, it warms my heart every time uh, every time I get to interact with one of y'all. So, y'all have a beautiful, beautiful night, you sweet, sweet Tobins, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye. Mwah. Remember, Tobins, like, comment, subscribe, or else I'll cry myself to sleep tonight. <laughs>